Hey, what's up? This is Jordan from Woven War, and you're watching Grasser Production. Hi, how are you? Doing very well. Doing very well. Are you looking forward to the show? Very much so, yeah. It's, yeah. Been, a, it's been a busy day. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, I mean, I heard it's uh, almost sold out or close to sold out. Yeah. So, a lot of people and uh, yeah, just stoked to be, you know, playing in Germany again. So, we've been looking forward to this, this, yeah. this whole tour actually. So. And how was the tour so far? It's been awesome. It's been really, really cool. We played a lot of new places, you know, that, um, you know, even the, the us as individuals have never played before, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been great. Like uh, the crowds have been absolutely amazing, and In Flames have been like you know very hospitable, you know, uh, and uh, taking really good care of us. And uh, right. yeah, it's just an honor to be able to play in front of uh, their crowds, and um, yeah, and be able to play in front of our fans as well. And after Tim's incident, probably a lot has changed. And um, do you think uh, all the members go their own way now? Or did they immediately decide to continue as a band? Well, I mean, there was a little bit of time in between there. But yeah, I mean, I think uh, it was a pretty easy decision for us to be able to stick together. You know, we've been, you know, touring together and working together for so many years. And uh, um, yeah, we, we, you know, we made the decision pretty quick, you know, once we had the information to make the decision and mm. uh, uh, to continue on together. Um, you know, in, in what form that took a little bit a little bit more time after that too, but um, yeah, we just decided to start the new band and, uh, you know, one to kind of, um, we, we didn't want to do like Asley Dying number two, you know, we want to preserve the legacy that we all mm. built together and uh, out of respect for our fans and uh, also just seemed more genuine to us and um, yeah, then after that we just yeah kind of started writing and jamming and then Shane came into the picture and voila. <laughs> yeah, but it's good that you continued and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, yeah, we're, I mean, we've had so much support, you know, over the years and, uh, you know, we got um, an overwhelming amount of support, you know, after everything had happened and uh yeah and it's it, you know we kind of we kind of hit hit away for a little while you know obviously for for good reason you know we didn't want to you know make more of a spectacle out of out of what was already going on mm. so you know we just kind of tucked away and and wrote a record and recorded and then all of a sudden just you know everybody's like whoa we're, we're yeah. back <laughs> yeah and yeah so but yeah yeah what is your feeling about the end of uh, or the time out as of as i lay dying well i mean you know it's really something that uh, you know, we kind of left where it stopped, you know. Uh, right now, like our focus, our, our I guess complete focus is on Woven War, mm -hmm. and um, and you know that's really going to be it for us, you know, uh, you know, for the time being. And you know, we who knows what's going to happen in the future? Like no one knows, you know. So it's really a hard question uh, to answer completely, you know. So. But yeah, our, our, our focus is Woven War and we're very passionate about this band mm. and, um, you know, and the feedback so far has been, been amazing and, uh, you know, we're getting continued support and just trying to grow, you know, grow a new band, you know, and really that's it, just kind of, uh, to an extent, like starting over, but obviously it's not totally starting over because there's still like, you know, like the, our, our past does precede us, you know, yeah. and uh, it's just something that is there and uh, obviously we're, we're thankful for the, the legacy that we were able to build with um, Azalea dying and and uh, with our fans and uh, yeah and now it's just kind of going out there and playing new music uh, in front of these people and uh, yeah, just starting from square one. Yeah. <laughs> well, but it sounds like a good plan. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think for us we didn't want to try to ride that ride that coattail, you know, at all. And we just we want people to like learn about the new band because of a live show or because they heard the record or, or whatever else. You know, we want. Uh, we want it to be genuine, just the same way we built Asley Dying, we want to build this again, you know, and, and do it just DIY and just try to tour and um, build a real fan base, not mm. just a fan base that's based off of, uh, you know, uh, I guess, past or, or, uh, or just, um, like, I guess, fake publicity, you know, so we, okay. wanna, we wanna, want it to be real. Yeah. What do you want to say with your new band name? What does it mean? Well. I mean, there's a, uh, I guess, plenty of different uh, interpretations out there, but I, mean, I think the the foundation of of this band was just 
like the like the personal wars, the collective wars that you know that we weave in our own lives in, in a sense I think uh, are at, at any at any point like come together you know what I mean or are woven together mm -hmm, you know and mm -hmm. uh, I guess some could say it's an example uh, you know our past experience is an example of uh, just that very thing um, but yeah you know, I think it, it's it's something that is general and I think applicable to a lot of people you know that go through go through struggles in life and mm -hmm. um, you know come together and, and figure out how to like uh, well, what's the word I'm looking for? Figure out how to like, I guess, transcend like those those experiences and take positive things from those okay. things in order to better yourself, like as a person and as a collective. You know, okay. and it could go down from one person to like a society, yeah. you know, and the world in sense, you know. But um, we're just woven. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and okay. uh, so yeah, you know, I mean, I, I think regardless of what 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 had happened, and uh, you know, just our whole lives, you know, I think that you're constantly like going through things to make you, you you have the opportunity to make those things like take advantage of those things and learn from those things you know and uh, mm -hmm. that's what we want to continue to do so which reasons did you have to pick up Shane as a new vocalist uh, did you know him before yeah yeah we've yeah. actually known him uh, well over a decade actually okay. uh, you know Nick used to be in a band with them like before he joined as late dying in 2004 um, we also toured with his band back in 2001 2002 mm -hmm. so we've known him for a long time um, and so just as far as like person to person and the personality just being a fit with all of us it made it made perfect sense uh, and also like you know he has an amazing voice <laughs> yeah. so you know it, it was one of those things we didn't you know we didn't really do do really any tryouts or anything like that um, uh, or at least a, a long list of tryouts it was just it's kind of like we knew what we wanted when we found okay. it. Okay, and know? so it fitted right away, and yeah. Yeah, and it wasn't like we were looking for someone like with that specific voice. You know, mm -hmm. it was just kind of like we we had a demo, and he sang over, it and we're like, yeah. "Whoa, this is really cool," you know. And so from there, it just kind of started in a very organic place, you know, and then took form from there with the rest mm -hmm. of the record. And mm -hmm. uh, there wasn't, uh, you know. But yeah, we didn't do like you know guitar center tryouts or anything like that. You know, it <laughs> yeah. was just like it was just it, we knew we knew what we wanted. That when it we would found be it. yeah okay. Yeah. Instrumental parts still sound familiar. Um, why did you choose um, just to use clean vocals? You know, it's kind of hard to say. It wasn't like it was just it came from a very organic place. Like like I was saying, like when we had that first demo and Shane, like he just sang over it. I mean, he kind of just did what he thought worked. Mm -hmm. You know and. Uh, and then we're like, okay, cool. So there was no like preset, like, hey, we're not having any screaming anymore, or like, oh, it's going to be all singing. It's like we just we we wrote that you know first little batch of demos, and um, you know, and Shane kind of started like thinking of different vocal ideas as well as Josh, mm -hmm. um, and they they pretty much from there it was just it was like I said, it was very organic, and uh, there was no um, I guess. Uh, foundational intention like to just do all singing it just kind of the way it, it worked out like with the collective like group you know when we were writing together uh, but we also thought that you know because we had this like other melodic ability where it's like wow we can we can we can go beyond what we were able to do before you know so to us like it, it felt like more of an opportunity to continue to create like you know even beyond this record and mm. uh, gives us more more room to grow as like just as a band and uh, as a creative force and uh, that's pretty much it so yeah. you know it's kind of going back to like you know the old school like metal like you know Dio and Judas Priest <laughs> it was just like you just had that like yeah. that, that barrel of a voice you know and uh, with just awesome riffing behind it and it it uh yeah it just kind of it was really it, it was cool to kind of see it take shape but it was uh, it's, it's also going to be exciting now that things have taken shape you know to uh, to tour off the record and then go in and try to record again you know mm. so it'll be it'll be interesting to see what happens next time so yeah <laughs> how long did you work on woven more <sighs> see how about we wrote we wrote for about four four months or so we so we we got in the studio in november okay of 2013 yeah and uh and then finished the record um just at the beginning of the the year 2014 mm -hmm. so uh, yeah we wrote for quite a while and it, it came came together real fast yeah that so, was fast yeah i mean we kind of you know made that initial decision to start and then uh jammed uh for you know most of uh 
most of July, mm -hmm. and uh, and then I, I ended up like coming out like filling in for uh, Kill Switch, so we stopped for a month uh, while I I did that in August, and then when I got back, we started writing again and. Um, Finished up the record and there we go. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> it worked out. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. yeah. But you know, we, we had the record done um, like I was saying, like, you know, January, I think beginning of February. But you know, we because there were still things going on that, you know, that had to do with, with Asley dying, it we didn't want to just like throw it out there. You know, we wanted to wait till like we weren't just getting involved in like a sensational media story. Mm -hmm. It was like we wanted it to be real, we wanted it to be about the band and so kinda waited till things died down a little bit um, and then we had the opportunity to be like okay cool let's focus on this band and we we're able to kind of yeah. get back in the public eye so then you had the energy yeah, yeah good exactly. how was your feedback concerning the first full-length album it's been awesome it's been really good I mean you know this is it feels like we've been doing this longer than we actually have because I mean this is like our third third tour I guess yeah. off of uh, the new record I mean it just came out at the end of August so it's been out for just a little over two months I think or no I know August I don't know yeah been a little bit over two months yeah and, um, yeah this is our fir first like regional tour uh, we did a couple like about three weeks of shows with Black Label Society then came over here and did some festivals uh, mm -hmm. around Europe for a couple weeks and you know other than that, I mean, it's really all still new, you know, we're just kind of getting things rolling, it feels yeah. like, and uh, even though, yeah, it does feel like we've been doing it for a while. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, but yeah, we're just getting started and we got a lot of, you know, we still haven't done like a full U.S. tour, yeah. which, um, you know, it's not announced yet, but we're going to be doing a, a pretty con comprehensive like North American tour uh, next awesome. year. Yeah. And then uh, obviously making plans are ready to be back over here. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, we're just getting started, and I, I think like the feedback so far has been amazing. And I just can't wait till we get some more touring under yeah. under our belts and be able to play in front of some, you know, some uh, some new fans, you know, or yeah. new, new crowds, I guess. And hopefully they, they they become new fans and also be able to play for. Our, uh, our Asley Dying fans that have continued to support yeah. us. You know, I think that's been an important thing about these first initial tours is mm -hmm. that we're able to spend time with those people and 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 thank them personally, like, just for, for, for supporting us, no matter if they like the new band or not, you know, like, it's like, we appreciate their support and, you know, we definitely never intended to leave them high and dry, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, that's something that we want to continue to, uh, uh, to get out there and also continue to do as we tour around the world. Yeah. So, yeah. What can we, the fans, expect in the near future from Woven War? Just a lot of touring. So that's about it. <laughs> yeah, a lot of touring, and uh, you know, get some some more videos and stuff out there, like visual stuff. Uh, you know, might be in the form of music videos, like tour updates, or just different. You know, artistic like artistically visual like representations. Mm. Uh, or, uh, or forms of entertainment, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I mean, that's that's really about it. I mean, the record's out now, and now we're just gonna grind it out on tour and just try to play as many places as we can around the world. We're so, excited. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, describe a normal day in your life. <clears throat> like, what are your hobbies? What are you doing when just you're not on <laughs> tour? <laughs> well, actually, uh, we, uh, Nick, Phil, and I, we just bought a venue in San Diego. Um, that just kind of kind of happened all of a sudden, like over uh, like earlier this year, and uh, yeah, so we've been working on that. It's like a place like that's been around San Diego for over 20 years, wow. and uh, you know, it's it's been a special place to us, like as like people that have grown up in San Diego. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I heard about it when I was like 13 years old, like you know, on the radio, like so and so bands playing this this venue called Brick by Brick, and you know, we played there, uh, you know, 10 plus years ago. Uh, yeah, so we, we felt it was a cool opportunity to be able to give back to like our our local community, you know, and uh, that has been so so supportive of us for so many years. And um, yeah, so working on that, it's more than a full time job. Okay. <laughs> Still working, out, you know, on the road, the emails and everything else. Yeah. Uh, so it gets a little busy, but you know, it's all the like you know that and uh, you know, especially the band. Like it's just the music is our lives, you know, and, and we're so passionate about what we do. Uh, you know, playing, but also like in every other aspect, you know, and the same communities that helped us like grow and gave us support, mm -hmm. like as musicians and as a band, the, the the old and the new, like we want to be able to give back in some form and we, you know, the venue just seemed like a really cool opportunity to be able to do that mm -hmm. on, a, on a local level and um, yeah, so yeah. it's 
That's Sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you like Germany? And if yes, why do you like it? <laughs> I love Germany. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's Germany has always been kind of like, uh, at least in a, in a touring sense, like our second home, and uh, always looking forward to getting back here. And uh, I guess the sentiment could be a little, little bit more understood, like when you know we're we're elsewhere, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh man, I can't wait to just get back to Germany <laughs> and like, you know, the catering and like have. Like, <laughs> Like things aren't insanely expensive, you know what I mean? It's just like it's it's always one of those places that like have has really been like a home to us, you know, like on the road and uh, and we just we know so many great people here. Uh, Do you have a favorite city? I don't know if I have a favorite city in Germany, but um, I just like it as a whole. You know, I'm always looking forward to going to every city there. You know, and. I really, I really do love it here. Okay. And I think the sentiment is shared with the rest of my guys. Yeah. So. Well, thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. And um, we'll hope to see you again. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Have fun at the show. Yeah. Will do. <laughs>